Welcome to a sweet little toy that I bought myself. It's a luggage and USB lock. So, consists of two parts. The part here is the actual lock with the wheels. And this is the part that can be used as a luggage or as a zipper lock. It has the shape of a USB stick. Um, and it works in the following way that you secure whatever you want to uh, lock up with this wire and then it goes in this little hole here and when you look carefully uh, with putting in and removing this end here of the wire the tongue that is inside this piece here needs to come out and now when you put this on top of it uh, you you prevent this tongue from being able to be pushed out and so this wire is secured. That's the first uh, type of uh, usage, first kind of application for this lock. And the other kind of application is uh, securing a USB stick. So this is a USB stick um, and when you put this in this lock you can change the code and you cannot remove it anymore. So if this is on your table uh, because you need it or whatever, so no one can just grab it and uh, copy what is on your USB stick. Um, but it's a neat little idea. Of course, um, we want to try to get this lock open without knowing the combination, but it's not susceptible for the pull picking method. So no matter how hard I uh, pull on the USB stick, you cannot feel any change of resistance on the wheels and that's because um, by pulling on the USB stick you cannot tension, you do not tension a locking mechanism. I will show you this in a second. Just enter the right code. Let me see if I can give you a good shot inside. So when we now closely inspect the area that is enlightened we can see two little pieces here and they come out completely when I turn the wheel. So these two prongs, these two peaks here, prevent the USB stick from coming out. And you can also see the direction that they come out. It's perpendicular to the direction uh, where at which you pull out the USB stick. So with pulling out the USB stick you cannot tension the locking mechanism. And the USB stick um, has two holes where these two prongs uh, go in and therewith prevents the USB stick from coming out again. But um, if pulling is not um, possible, we can still try to decode the lock by using a very thin piece of metal and feel maybe gates that are uh, in the uh, lock at uh, the inner wheels and so then we can decode this lock. Alright, um, I wanna change the combination now and we will try that. I need something to push this little button in and I need to hold it, that's a little bit uncomfortable. Oops. Okay, um, I try again because it took me ages to get it open the first time and I will tell you what I did wrong so that you can learn from my mistakes. Currently the right code is entered and I will change this now by pushing down on this button. Oops. Shuffle the wheels. Make sure every wheel is at a, at a position and not in between. I think this is okay. Um, then I put in my USB stick other way around. Then I shuffle the wheels and I don't know the code. So what I want to do now is try to find the gates um, of the inner wheels with this little decoding tool, very thin piece of metal with a handle. Um, I start with some numbers and I use this tip here, this very tip here, and I try to feel the gates at the same angle. So I think the first, um, the problem with the first um, decoding session was that I changed the angle so I 
miscounted um, or misindexed indexed, uh, some of these numbers. So I try here nothing. I turn by two numbers because I have quite a good range. Nothing. Nothing. There should be a gate somewhere. Okay. I think it's number six. And I try to fill it with this very edge and at that angle. So it's it's six. Let's see the other wheel. The other wheels. Still two to decode. Okay, I think it's also six. Very interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it's six at the same angle of the decoding tool. So hopefully not six for the last wheel. Nothing here. Okay, I think it's zero. Okay, same angle. Yeah, pretty consistent. So now uh, what I did wrong also, I didn't look at the actual numbers. I I turned them and I thought I would turn it by one, but I think I accidentally turned some wheels by two. So uh, this is not the right code um, because the gates have to be aligned uh, somewhere else in the lock. So we need to turn all the wheels consistently by one number um, at a time. And so the next uh, test number would be 559. So five, we have seen I've accidentally turned the second wheel as well. Um, so you have to uh, look which number needs to be um, aligned next. So it's 448, 448, 337, 337. Oops, <laughs> and you heard it. It just opened right away. So this lock is not bad. So you cannot pull and uh, turn the wheels to feel the actual code. But if you own such kind of a thin piece of metal, this is very easy to decode because the tolerances are pretty bad and you have a lot of room to feel with your uh, decoding tool. And if you, um, yeah, if you rehearse this method just a little bit, um, I think you can become really quick. Um, yeah, this is a little toy and um, it was fun to play with it, but I wouldn't actually use it um, to secure my uh, USB stick, I would rather uh, put it in my pocket and for my um, for my zippers maybe also use something different. Alright, so thanks for watching, happy picking and decoding, cheers and bye bye!